21 years, Roseanne is coming back to ABC. The entire cast is on board for the reboot. The original Becky is an Evanston native, and she's reprising her role on the iconic show. So, aren't you going to say anything about the baby? You're not having a baby. Of course you're going to give me crap about this. No, I'm merely pointing out at your age, your uterus should be designated a historic landmark. <laughs> At least I'm taking care of myself. I'm not living at home with my parents. Please welcome Lisey Gorenson. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Come on up. Give me a hug. Oh. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh, yeah. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> It has got to be so surreal to walk back out on that set with the same cast, the same set, recreated. What, what would that feel like? It is such a blessing. I really, it's like every day that I'm working with these people, I have so much appreciation. And just being back on the set, hearing Roseanne's voice yelling at me again. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's just so incredible. I never would have thought this was gonna happen. Yeah, I have to say, uh, Roseanne looks amazing. John Goodman looks amazing. Like when I first- and Yeah, you look amazing yes, as well. <laughs> yes. But we, got, we get to see the kids all grown up, which is really fun. But when you when you see John Goodman and Roseanne at first, when the, when you first see them, you're like, wow, they they actually look incredible. They really do. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because um, my dressing room is like right outside of the parking lot, and John would drive up in his car and get out of the car, and I'd say, damn, he looks good. <laughs> you know, he really does, and he's such a sweetheart. I mean, that helps, right? Right. <laughs> now, when you all did the show originally, did you ever think? that you would be back 20 years later doing it again. No way. Wow. It was such a surprise. I got a text from Sarah Gilbert. What? Are you interested in doing this? We're talking about it. I said, of course. And then I thought about it and I said, what? Mm. But the wheels were already turning and, and you know, it was happening. Everybody was on board. So it's, it was really, really exciting. Right. And we find out that Dan Connor did not die after all. He's alive. <laughs> He's <laughs> alive. alive. There's a, a comedic premise on that. And, um, and the show really tackles a lot of important issues right in the very first episode. Yeah, we get a little political at first. Um, you know, we explain a lot of things that we need to explain, but it's really not political heavy. Um, it's still about the family. It's still about the Connors struggling and trying to get by and giving each other hell, so. <laughs> yes. Now, you're originally from Evanston. I am. Now, yeah. yay. Yes. <laughs> now, I'm an actress as well, not, you know, a big star like you, but I'm wondering, you know, people always say you can't really make it from Chicago. You can't Who make it from living here. You know, you always say you got to go move away, you got to go to New York or L.A., but you got your start from being right here. What was that experience like when you auditioned for the show and all that happened for you? You know, I'm from the suburbs, so driving into the city was always this incredible experience for me. The lake, the skyline. And when I was driving to that audition with my mom, you know, I was just swimming in the YMCA, the YMCA pool and I was wearing my dad's sweater and whatever, but I just felt like a little adult, mm. you know, that I was doing something that was kind of like adult and exciting, but I wasn't really paying attention to my lines or what I was supposed to be studying at all. Yeah, and I guess you went into the audition. A lot of the other uh, little girls were dressed up, really dressed up. You were not super dressed up and that actually helped you. Yeah, it's funny. They were all in hair and makeup and whatever. I don't think I had any makeup at that age. <laughs> I don't even think I knew what makeup was at that age. But I guess Roseanne saw something in me that was just authentic and Midwest. Probably my accent helped. That yeah. comes back when I'm here. So, <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, the show had two Beckys, right? Because you ended. They, they that's, that's <laughs> the rumor. I thought there was only one. <laughs> <laughs> two Beckys. Everyone still is curious. Why did you walk away? Why was that time to walk away? And coming back, I guess, obviously was the right choice too. Yeah, I mean, I went to college, that was my choice, and it was an unconventional choice. Everyone said, are you crazy? You're passing away, you know, um, fame and all this money. And I really just felt like my life had been on hold. And I wanted to reconnect with all aspects of myself. You know, I wasn't around a peer group. I, I couldn't play sports. I couldn't do things that I loved to do. I wasn't in school, I had a tutor. 
And these are all things that I loved and part of me. And so going to college really allowed me to revisit all parts of me, not just the acting part, mm -hmm. which was really, really great. But it's also such a blessing to be back with my old family, too. It is just fantastic. Right. And can you tell us how they connect the two Beckys in the show? I know, but I don't want to spoil it if you don't want to spoil it. Um, <laughs> let's just say that we have scenes together, <laughs> which is really, really fun. But I shouldn't really. I want you guys to watch the show. So no spoilers today. Right. And how many episodes are we looking for here? We have nine, mm -hmm. and um, they're all really solid. We had a screening last night at AMC East, and it went really well. The crowd was laughing and having a great time. So I really think if you're a fan of the show, you are going to love the new boot. Yeah. You know? yeah. I mean, the memories are... Yes, but I have to ask, because there is... Where did the, your, your black niece come from on the show? Like, where, I was oh, like, like you, somebody has to explain this to me. She, Jaden Ray, she plays Mary on the show, and she is a doll. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's Never adorable. Here. But she's DJ's daughter. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, like everybody's like, whoa. Right, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about the, the theater, because the Piven Theater was so special to you growing up. That's right. And yeah. I know that you're going to be doing a gala, but before we talk about that, uh, we asked him to dig up the most embarrassing picture we could find of you. Wait, it, are you serious? It's not embarrassing, but here, take a look. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cool. That was my Comedia dell'arte class at Piven. How old were you there? Do you remember? Um, I guess it was last year, or so I was probably 18. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It was. I, I was probably like 12, or no, no, maybe a little older, 15 or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And now you're and now you're doing a gala with them. I am. I'm hosting their gala, so everybody come and bring a checkbook and give my favorite theater company <laughs> some money. <laughs> all right, we got all the information on the website. All right, don't forget. Oh, you you read this. Oh, great. Right. <laughs> don't forget to catch Roseanne beginning Tuesday, March 27th at 7 p.m. right here on ABC.